Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nina of Live, Plan, Love. And today I will be flipping through my personal wide rings planner. First, I wanted to show you my planner inside my new planner sack. This is from Shameless Stickers, and this is the personal size in blush pink. I absolutely love it, and it is super soft, so I was definitely cuddling with this yesterday when I got it and it's just absolutely amazing. So this is what my planner looks like inside the sack. So you can close it with Velcro. I was actually surprised when I saw this. I guess I didn't read it in the product description, but I love it because it is amazing that it just closes so nothing can harm your planner. Um, also, if you guys have noticed, it has this beautiful like purple lilac lining inside and it is just absolutely stunning and I love it. So I just wanted to show you guys how the planner looked inside the sack. I was actually um, thinking about picking up the original size but um, that can actually fit in Erin Condren but I don't take my Erin Condren out um, because it's just my memory planner but even if I do I don't mind just taking my Erin Condren in my bag. Also, um, since I like switch out between personal wide and personal rings, I just figured um, having the personal size sack was just better for that purpose, for just switching out planners and yeah. So this is the Foxy Fix Sugar Coconut Personal Wide Rings Binder. Um, I do have the B6TN in the same exact configuration with the light pink stitching, the vintage pink elastic, and also the rose gold foiled fox and pit bow on the spine and no foiling in the front. So I actually originally ordered the Personal Wide Rings Spice Salts, which I unboxed on this channel. Um, I was not in love with it because of the quality, and um, Foxy Fix pretty much gave me the option to replace my order with this one. So of course I had to get it because I always wanted to try Personal Wide Rings because I loved my B6TN. I just wanted rings, so this is like the most similar size to that. So yeah, let's just get started with the flip through. So this is my everyday planning where I literally plan out my days or just anything really. Um, I know I show you guys more of my Erin Condren, but that's literally just for memory planning so I don't have any like tasks or any future planning in that planner. Um, but yeah, so... I just love this planner so, so much. So in my pockets, in the front and the back, I don't have much going on. It's pretty simple. Um, I just like it that way. Also, I just don't have anything to stuff it with, which is fine with me. But yeah, so in the card pocket, I have a bookmark from Live Life and Create. Um, I don't have anything in this first crisscross pocket, but then in the back, I have this on both sides. I have this really cute pink cardstock, which I got from Michaels. Let me just pull both of these out. Okay, let's not do that. Um, I just laminate it just so it has some structure on the planner because it is a little flimsy without it. And then this little envelope is actually made out of vellum and has my paper and milk order in it and Denise always brush letters um, everyone's name on their order so I love anything that has my name on it especially if it's lettered by someone else so I just love the way that peeks out even though I kind of wanted it in the setup but I didn't want to punch holes in it but I like it there for now. So a lot of things that you're going to see in this flip through are actually a bunch of things that I pulled out of my B6TN and just literally cut in half and punch holes in them which this is the first piece. I just um, I had to cut it down just so it didn't poke out too far and then I just have um, holes on the side. So this is the same digital that I had in my B6 which is from a shop that I still can't pronounce. Um, I'm going to butcher the name but I'm going to try it. It's like Lasny Crea Shop. I'm going to have all the shop links below but any if you see the shop that starts with an L and sounds or looks similar to how I just pronounced it, 
it snatched up. But yeah, I really love this Fashion Girl so much, and I just think it just makes the front part of the planner look kind of classy, you know? So behind that, I have this paper from Michaels, a picture of me and my boyfriend. These two stickers, Stacy from Stacy M Plans actually gave me, and then this heart washi behind it is from Hobby Lobby. This hustle die cut is from Live Life Create, and this is actually a vellum die cut from the March Paper Panda box. This thick piece of acetate, which I love so much. It was so hard to punch and cut down. I don't even think I needed to cut it down. I know just punching it was really hard because it's super thick. But this was from the Happy Scrappy June box, and she collaborated with Amy from See Amy Draw, and this is Amy's lettering, which I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, I mean, it does have summer things, but I did set this up in the summer, so... If you guys haven't noticed, I love showing my setups, like, after I've lived in them for a while. So that's why it's still summer. Um, but yeah, so this is a Galaxy-esque vellum from Michaels. I got this, um, washi dashboard from Alexa from Type A for Alexa. She sells off her Instagram, um, so definitely check her out. I'll have her link below as well, and I love this. This is washi from the Simply Gilded June box, I believe. This is more Michael's paper that, um, I don't remember why I cut it down. Oh, I know why. This was actually a scrap, and I just rounded the corners, and then just stuck on a pocket adhesive, which you're gonna see a few of them throughout the flip through. They're all from Target. Um, and then I just put doily paper from Michaels. I have another hustle die cut from Live Life and Creates, and then this really adorable emoji die cut from the Coffee Monsters Co. Behind that, I have another die cut from Live Life and Creates, and then a few sticky notes because I love having sticky notes everywhere. You're gonna see a bunch of sticky notes later too. This vellum is from Michaels. I'm not really sure like what the pattern is, but um, it's clear with like these white patterned areas. This is um, more Michaels paper with another picture of me and my boyfriend, a little piece of washi from Once More With Love. These two text stickers are from the March paper panda box. I'm pretty sure it's March. Um, it was either March or April, I don't remember. Or February. Wow. No, February box. So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the February box. Because now I think about it, I think the March box was um, summer related. I don't know, but they're both from Paper Panda. But yeah, so behind that, I have another pocket with a Polaroid of me and my godson from last summer. Not my favorite picture of us but I'm going to replace it eventually. This is another vellum die cut I got from Paper Panda. Here is more Michael's paper that I stuck behind this journaling card from Two Little Bees. This is actually pretty old, like two and a half years ago. Um, and then these two pictures I just printed out myself. They're just old pictures of my planner from earlier this year. And then a Simply Gilded Bow Seal. This gold foiled Bow Acetate is from Kinley's Doodles. This was actually a digital from Purpose Papery that says Bad to the Bow, just printed on vellum. All my dividers I made myself, but I did order the tabs from Randy Plans when she was selling them on her Instagram. She did open up an Etsy shop, so I'll have her Etsy shop linked below. So I just stuck the tabs on vellum and then I ran it through a laminator. I really sucked at these. I guess um, not really, I didn't cut it that well like here and I don't know, I have to fix it but I don't know how to fix it. So after every divider I have a glitter dashboard and these are from Tibby Plans. She sells off her Instagram so I'll have that link below as well. So I'm just going to let you guys know now all my inserts are from any plants principles, so I'm saying that now so I don't have to keep repeating it because I do have that tendency. Um, but yeah, so this is actually my monthly section. Um, and I really, really love this because it ran from June 2018 and then goes all the way up to July 2019. I believe that's the last one. Oh no, it was July 2018 to June 2019. 
What? Oh my goodness. I just realized I punched this wrong. March, April, May. It's only this page that I, I punched wrong. Oh no, I was trying to save these because these are actually from my B6. So I just cut the inserts in half and punch holes, which is why you see like a difference in the size. This cover I printed for personal wide rings and then this is what the B6 inserts size up to. And I have more later on, but I cut them down to size besides this one and another one. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna have to Print out another one. Uh, I mean, maybe by the time I get to May, I'll probably change, like, whatever insert I use. Because this is going to bother me. Unless I just print out another one of just the page that has this one. And then re-punch. I don't know. But yeah. Oh. But I love using these inserts because the calendar is not too big. It's bigger than, like, an at-a-glance kind of calendar. But it still gives me space to mark the days however I need to but yeah so after that um, I have more Kinley's doodles this vellum is from banana doodle shop paper from Michaels behind it I just have a another pocket with a project life journaling card these two are from paper and milk from the wonton in a million carnival party and a picture of me and my high school best friends this text acetate is from Michaels. I really, really love this vellum. It's like a cute desk with a gold foiled text that says Planner Girl. And this is from Simply Watercolor Co. Like I said, a bunch of these are from my B6 setup. And I, I just like to recycle things, especially if I'm not going... I'm currently not using my B6 CN. And I really don't think I'm going to move back in it. But um, that's why... I, I just felt like it was necessary just to use as much of that setup into here because I don't really follow a theme. I just love everything pink and pretty, you know? So this polka dot acetate is from Michaels and I love it because it has a rose gold foil on one side with the gold on the other. And then this insert is a Mommy Lay collab, which I love the colors of this spread. Or not spread, this insert. It does take up a lot of ink, not gonna lie. I actually ran out of ink while I was printing these, but it is so, so cute. So these aren't actually inserts that I would use on a daily basis um, because I usually focus more of my planning in my school section, which you'll see. Um, but this is more for like really busy days when I want to mark like my three biggest priorities. Um, and then in this space, I would list out like the tasks I need to do in order to meet the goals. And then in this section would be like miscellaneous notes for whatever reason. So behind that insert, I have this shimmery vellum from Michaels, which I love. I have a bunch of these that I am hoarding for future setups. I have more Michaels paper and then I stuck on this journaling card from Simply Gilded. And then behind that, this is like my absolute favorite. So this is just the back of this paper. And then I took like the edge of the doily paper from Michaels and just use it as like um, a border. And then this vinyl is from Virgo and Paper. And I just love the way it looks in different lightings. I believe the colorway is Daisy. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Daisy. And then this die cut is from Project Life. And then um, this vellum is from Banana Doodle Shop. I really, really love her vellum. It is super, super thick. So my next section is school. And I really love the way the lettering is done for the tabs. It's just so fun and just different than like the regular like block lettering, you know? But yeah. So another glitter dashboard. I have a fly leaf of my post-its. This I actually had in my Louis Vuitton agenda, but since I'm not using that right now, since I moved into this planner, I figured why not bring this because I thought it would be a waste to just make a new fly leaf just for a different planner. But I did add on more um, sticky notes in the back. So these Hello Kitty ones I got from um, Kino Cunha, probably butchering the name, but yeah. This is from Once More With Love, Paper Kumiko, and Wonton in a Million. So I have more vellum from Michaels. And then these inserts that I use for school are the Coffee Monsters Co. Collab, which I absolutely love. So you have your 
weekly overview and then two days on a page besides the weekend it's just one block you don't have saturday and sunday but i thought that was perfect for just my school planning since the weekend is more of just catching up on work and i can just combine that in one like block so this is my current week i'll show you just the weekly overview because my dailies just have a checklist and then this is my weekly overview which i freaking love because it, it's just so cute so i just use a bunch of stickers from an old kit because why not i have so many that even just doing this every week won't go through all my old stickers but yeah so i use stickers from an old ruby trev kit which is my absolute favorite collection she's ever released which is the unicorn love and i'm pretty sure she still has it in her shop so if you want to get it you can use code nina gem to save 15 percent off orders 15 dollars and up and also for another little plug of the shop she does offer the full kit and also the kit in a la carte options so if you only want to pick up a few sheets you can do that as well but yeah so after this insert which i absolutely love the cover i definitely wanted to use it and it was just like what really drew me into getting this insert also like all the emojis in their little onesies <laughs> so cute but yeah so i have more of that purpose paper re digital these two die cuts are from live life and create i have another project life journaling card and the pocket I actually had to cut down because it was going to overlap over the doily paper on the side. So I just cut it down in a diagonal to cut off the length as well. And I just think it's really pretty. On the back, I have a die cut from Stationery Heaven Co. This planner cart is from Happy Dia Stickers. And then Lola on her desk like planning or I'm not really sure what she's doing, but just writing. That's from Banana Doodle Shop, and I love her so much. I think it's the pink hair. But yeah, so this is more text acetate from Michaels. Did I already say it? Oh, yeah, I have another one. But this is different than the other one, because the other one is white text. This one is like the same kind of format like the polka dot one, where it has gold on one side and rose gold on the other. So this is a secretarial dashboard from Foxy Fix. In the front pocket, I have this little thing that I put together for my Kiki K. Um, just I have it as like a pocket stuffer. I have this die cut from Toto Papel. This was from a paper panda box. And then another Simply Gilded bow seal with some mini post-its. I just love it so much i just had to put it somewhere but the only thing is the back part is a little awkward so i didn't really know what i was going to do in this area i don't know why i just made it so empty but i just stuck in two die cuts from live life and create and i do need to do something about it because there's just all this open space for like a weird reason but i do have a piece of like scrap vellum from simply watercolor co you'll see the one that i cut it off from later but yeah i just added it just because there was like a lot of pink going on which is never a bad thing but just to add depth you know i just figured why not just stick it in there for some difference but yeah so this doily paper of course it's from michael's i just love the doily paper i literally stocked up on them that i have extras that i have no use for right now but just in case a michael's for some reason doesn't have it in stock but yeah so i have this die cut with the cute little bunny sticking out of a planner from narok design and the planner for life um vinyl is from virgo and paper and this is a different colorway than the other one i don't remember this name of the colorway but I just love it and then i have this little journaling card which is from a paper panda box um this was the card that actually tells you like the things that are included in the box in the back so to cover all the text i just used white cardstock and then stuck in some sticky notes from paper panda the no bad days washi is from bando and the plain yellow is from omoi zaka shop and these little arrows were actually like cutouts from a project life journaling card that i just um use a tape runner so i could stick it down 
So the next section is labeled Live, Plan, Love, which is for anything planner related. Um, but yeah, so after we have a bunch of things, this is from Michaels. This is like the other half of the one from the beginning, the galaxy theme one. Of course I need a list insert because I, I need a list insert for everything. But I thought it was very appropriate to have it for my planner section because there's so many ideas in my head that like I want to do and stuff like that so I just thought a list section or a list insert would be useful like I have a category for ads a planner and then other ideas or any planner supplies I need and um, this is where I also have like my online orders I haven't been ordering a lot just cuz like I'm on a no slash controlled spend more on the no spend and then when I do spend it's like very little you know but um, I'm going to try to keep that up for like forever because it's just getting crazy, girls. So I have more vellum from Michaels. This is another NSFW cover. And then these inserts are for blog slash YouTube planning. Um, my blog, I don't even touch. I probably only have like five posts on planners maybe even less. So I'm actually using this only for YouTube and this is where I brainstorm ideas for my channel that are not planner with me's, planner flip throughs, or hauls. So they're different kinds of videos. Still kind of like related to planning but just not your usual plan with me which I think will be so fun and just really exciting for my channel just so there's like more variety um, because I actually started this channel as a vlog channel but I suck at vlogging or I suck at editing at vlogging cuz yeah but anyways so now I'm here and I just want to make my channel more fun for you guys and for me to just look back on as well so I just have that I have more of the acetate from the happy scrappy June box um, this film is from Simply Watercolor Co. Paper from Michaels. This is another little awkward spot. Um, I think it's just too plain here. I feel like I need to add like vellum or acetate or something just so it gives it a little more oomph, you know? So I just have another pocket with um, a few random sheets of stickers that Stacy from Stacy Ann Plans gave me a while back. I just think they're just so cute. I haven't used anything because. Um, I don't know. I just don't want to. They're just so pretty. Like, how can I take a sticker off this? But I think this will be useful for, like, my monthly. And yeah. So I just have that here. These are actually, besides, like, in the front with my paper and milk order. Those are the only stickers that I have. So these are my inserts for PR. I only PR for one shop. Um, but I think it is still very useful to track like when I'm posting things, um, so I'll write the name of the shop, which is Ruby Trav, and then the date range of the week that I'm tracking, and then down here I'll list out like Facebook group, um, Instagram feed, and Instagram story, and then also YouTube, because whenever I do upload, I always either try to mention it in a video if it applies or I always list it down in the description. That way, if you guys are ever looking down there for any shops that you want to look into, you'll also have access to my code just in case you want to check out Ruby Trev as well. So um, this is where I do like all my planning, especially if, if I'm going to use a Ruby Trev kit. But yeah, and this glitter paper is from Michaels, which I absolutely love. And then I have another pocket, and these are just the... Hello Kitty sticky notes that I have on my flyleaf with some of these decorative ones which are so cute but they just don't stick but yeah so I have more of the acetate oh my god where'd this come from I swear I always have like marks on my hands and I don't even realize until I start editing but yeah so I have more of the acetate from Michaels this section is my health section another glitter dashboard from Chibi Plans this is another NSFW cover, which I think is so cute, but just so funny how, like, this is the cover to my meal planning inserts, but it has a milkshake and fries on my cover. I don't know, but I just thought it was so, so cute. So here, it's just 
a pretty basic meal planning insert. Um, you list whatever week you're in, the days of the week, so you can write out like what meal you're gonna have for that day. I only like to track my lunches and then a grocery list for anything that you need for the meals that you're planning. And then after that, I have my appointment insert. So um, I just list the date and the time of the appointment, the doctor I'm going to see, the reason I'm going, and any notes. And then on a sticky note, these are actually appointments that I still need to schedule. There are more than this, but not, I don't need to schedule any other appointments until I get these appointments out of the way. But yeah. And then after that, these inserts are for doctor appointments as well, but more in detail of like prepping for it and after. So these are Fox and Pip collab inserts. So this is what it looks like empty. I'll show you one page. Um, so what I do is write out the date of the appointment, where my appointment is and or like what kind of appointment it is. The reason I'm going, any miscellaneous notes down here. In this column, I write out any questions I want to ask, any concerns I want to bring up, anything like that, because more than likely I will forget to mention something. And then when I leave an appointment, I'm like, dang, I should have told my doctor this or that. So that way, um, days leading up or even weeks, depending on how far apart or far away my appointment is, I'll write down questions that I have and then right before my appointment I just sit down read my questions um, or any other notes just so I can collect my thoughts and just make sure that I hit every point when I'm at the appointment and then I'll write here after the appointment of like doctor's notes and stuff like that there's more that I need to write here but I made sure not to write it just because I didn't want to share whatever but um yeah so there's that. I print out. I printed out a bunch of these um, because I knew I was going to be visiting the doctor a couple of times. So I like to have like all the inserts I need. I don't like adding inserts later. So I'm the type who keeps like a month worth of inserts in a planner instead of just by week. That and also because I don't have like too many decorative things that I just fill it up with inserts. But yeah, so I have more of that shimmery vellum from Michaels, the polka dot acetate from Michaels, and then this is another vellum from um, Simply Watercolor Co. But yeah, so my last section is my note section, which is something I just need to have in all my planners. It just makes sense because even though like I'll have all these sections, I still need a place to brain dump and I just like having a specific section for that instead of like a separate notebook or just pulling out like a scrap paper. So this is how the lettering looks on the tab, which I love. And then another glitter dashboard, of course, more purpose papery, more of the shimmery vellum from Michaels, and then, um, these are my grid inserts, and I just use it for any brain dumping. Literally for anything. If you guys haven't noticed, I don't have a finance section in here, and that's mainly because I have that in my pocket rings, which is my wallet. So it just makes sense if I'm going to use it as my wallet. I'm also going to use that to just manage all my finances. So, but I do come in here like ever so often when I need more space and I need to be more specific about a budget and it, I know it's going to be like really crazy so I, I just write it in here and then I just transfer that to my budget plan. I've only done that maybe like once or twice but yeah. So behind that I have more vellum from Michaels and then this little crush collage is actually heavily inspired by Carolyn Plans on Instagram who is exo Carolyn on YouTube. You guys should be very familiar with her. Um, but I love the fact that she has her K-pop husband in her planner so many times. And I was like, you know what? I love K-pop too. And I love all my husbands. Yes, I have more than one husband. I can't pick. So I made this one, which is like a prototype, which is why it's just in the back. But I didn't print out another one or design another one yet, so I just wanted to just have this even though it's not like how I want it to be, you know? But yeah, so this is JB from GOT7 if you guys are curious. He's a great singer. 
And if you guys want to check out GOT7, you know, why don't you do so? Because their new song, Lullaby, is just absolutely amazing. I literally, like, when that song comes up on my playlist, I don't listen to it just once or twice. Like, I just, I lose count of how many times I listen to it in the car. But anyways, so I definitely wanted to print this out on, like, either thicker paper or laminate it in the future. Um, I'm not really sure, but... I'll figure that out. And then when I do, I definitely want to have him and other people in my planner more. But yeah, so after that, it's just like the back. So I just have more acetate just to protect my paper. And to protect that, I have um, another dashboard, which is another B6TN dashboard that I just cut in half, which I don't know. I mean, I'm actually glad that I did it because now that I know for a fact, I'm never moving back into my B6TN. Even though it's like it's my baby, I will never ever ever sell it because it's my first Foxy Fix purchase, and I just have such an emotional connection with my planners that if I do ever sell a planner, it, I'm breaking my heart, like myself. But yeah. But anyways, so this um, journaling card is from Two Little Bees with some doily paper from Michaels, and then the paper in the back is from Michaels as well. This is paper from Michaels 2 and then I really love how um, when I place an order with Very Jenny Co she included a coffee cup die cut which you saw in the beginning and this card with my name that she lettered herself and like I said before I just love how people letter my name but yeah so the last piece of this flip or I mean I have this too but this is the page lifter that comes with all Foxy Fix binders, which I didn't know because when I first placed my order with my salt, I ordered another page lifter. So now I have two. I don't have any use for the other one now, but yeah. So now I have a die cut from Happy Scrappy. I don't remember where this is from. Um, and I, you know, this part is not cute at all, but whatever it's okay um i don't remember what shop this is from but i did get it at the wonton in a million carnival party i mean i could look back at my haul and um figure it out but my haul from that event was so so long if you guys watched it that's great but um if you guys know where this is from let me know but yeah so i just have these page flags from Daiso that I got last year when I visited California. I love using page flags when taking notes for school. So since I always have this planner open for school, it just made sense to have this in here because I need it. And then I just have this cute little hollow bookmark from Three Glitter Peas. It is so cute. I love it. I mean, it doesn't really serve a purpose, but I mean, it doesn't even like tie in together well, but I love it there. And then I have more of the cardstock that I laminated just to stick in the back pocket. This does have a huge pocket in the back, which I don't really use to store anything. I have this thick piece of cardstock. I believe it's like 110 pound paper. And then I have more paper that I just laminated in the back just so there's like more structure I don't know and then here I do have some stickers they're just like big sticker sheets that I don't store with like all my other stickers because they're just too big um but yeah so one thing to note about the sugar coconut if you do if you did have like the TN or a different um binder with them the outside flap is super super thin I'm not it's like very thin compared to the TN. Like, let me get my TN. So this is the TN and just touching it is super different. Like, I think maybe because, and I don't know, like this wrinkled pretty quickly. I'm not pretty quickly, I mean I use it for a couple months. But like, there's texture on this. And I know like this texture, was not how it came like it got textured after using it for some time but this one is just super 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 smooth i mean in this section right here i don't even think you guys can see it because of the light this section let me open this up and show you actually no i can show it to you like this as you can see this this part is much tighter than this front part 
and I'm not I don't think it's because of how the cardstock is sitting because it was even like that before I put the cardstock in here because even if I did like hold it down like this it's noticeably tighter here like don't let the like these dips fool you but it's just I don't know it's weird so in the front like the only place that ever gets wrinkled is in this top section which doesn't bother me at all because I like it but yeah, that's just something to note if you have the TN and I was thinking about getting the binder. It is slightly different, but it's still absolutely beautiful and stunning. But yeah, that pretty much concludes this flip through. I was trying not to make this too long, but I guess that doesn't really work for me. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned throughout this setup or about anything, I doubt I missed something because I usually... Um, I'm pretty good about that and also there's not much in here for me to miss but if you guys are interested in anything that I mentioned in this video definitely check out the description bar below because I will of course have all the information for you guys and all the shop links and stuff like that and I also have my Instagram link down below as well so if you guys are interested definitely check me out on Instagram at liveplan.love also subscribe to my channel for more videos Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for any questions or anything. I don't know. I just said that super out of order than I usually do. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!